Okay, my fiber artists, here's a little review of how we set up our cardboard looms. Now this piece of cardboard has slits cut into it. Those are the slots that are going to hold your warp. If you remember, our warp is the piece of string that is vertical on our loom. So this warp is going to wrap around our loom and it's going to be nice and tight because it's going to hold our paper pieces onto our loom. Now the paper pieces, they go right to left. They're called the weft. So first, I'm going to take my warp and I'm going to put it in the first slot, leaving a tiny little tail. The tiny little tail is the back side. So taking the long part of my warp, I'm going to hold it down, put it into my first slot, and wrap it around the back until I get to my second slot, making sure my warp strings are tight. They're not loose. I'm going to go down to my second slot, wrap it around, come up, and go down, wrap it around and you're gonna wrap it around until you have five warp strings kind of like a guitar you wanna have five warp strings and both tails should be on the back so if you see this and it has the tails you know that that's the back we're gonna flip it over they're nice and tight now I'm going to take my pieces of paper they go right to left, they're called the weft. And just like the dolphin goes out of the water and into the water, out of the water and into the water, our fish is going to go in front of the seaweed and behind the seaweed. In front, behind, in front, and then you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it down Perfect. So if you look at my paper, it's in front of my warp string, behind, in front, behind, in front. My next warp, my next weft needs to be the opposite. So instead of going in front, I'm going to go behind. So I should see my string now. Behind, in front, behind. in front, behind, and when I wiggle it down, it shouldn't go behind the gray or in front of the gray. It should just stay on top. Now the next one, instead of going behind, it's going to go in front, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, and push it down. If it covers any of your colors, you've done it the wrong way. If it goes behind any of your colors, you've done it the wrong way. It should be locked in like a stack of bricks. Okay. I'm going to finish up my weaving using all of my weft pieces. you notice my purple and my black did not switch so when I try to push my black down it's going to cover up my purple or it could go behind the purple that means I've done it wrong so I need to look what did I do wrong I went over and over I forgot to switch so I'm going to take one out and now I'm not going to go over first, I'm going to go behind first. And now when I push it down, it should be locked in.
to finish up our weavings, we are going to glue the papers down on the edges so they won't fall out. So you're going to get a glue stick and you're going to lift some of your papers up on one side, maybe two at a time. You're going to put some glue on your cardboard and then you're going to push those papers down, trying to make sure that they stay even. I'm going to take two, put some glue, and press it down. Take two, put some glue, and stick it down. Take two, put some glue, stick it down. Take two, put some glue, stick it down. And you're going to do that to your other side as well. To make sure all of your pieces stick, you can hold each side with your hands and push it down.